Okay, so I bought this house a couple of years ago, and it didn't have a walk-up stairway, stairway to go up into the attic for storage. So, the height of the garage determines which one that you purchase. The problem was the height of this garage was too short or too long for the standard steps and stairwell that goes up into the attic. So, I made an adjustment. I bought the shortest one and then installed it, as you can see. And then as you pull it down, you can see how short it is, okay? So, you can see I needed probably another eight or nine inches there to make sure that this ladder would work correctly without busting the, the springs. So, what I did was, I made an adjustment, made another step. And by adding this step, I was able to fold the ladder up correctly. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second when I put this together. Take the bolts out, the wing nuts off, and this slides around. I'll reinstall the bolts with the wing nut. Okay, and I'll just loosely put it together so we can kind of get an idea quickly of what I'm talking about. Okay, so I took two pieces, I cut them at the same angle, I, I added one across the top for an extra step. So now that when we put this down, we have a completely functional ladder. Okay, so when you tighten these bolts up, this will stay a lot tighter, a lot squarer. All right, but here's what it looked like. I had this bolted on to begin with, but the way the ladder folds, it does not allow to be closed all the way. So you want to make sure that that's good and it closes all the way so that your attic functions correctly and the airflow through your attic is correct. So to fix that problem, as you saw, all I did was add a new step, four bolts, pretty quickly unbolt everything one-handedly, I guess. Slide it up, put the bolts back through, add the wing nuts, and fold your ladder back up. I folded it up, adding that step, fully functional, and ready to go. Thanks.